Hi, it's the Lipstick Owl. Thanks for watching today, and I wanted to show you what came in my BoxyCharm. I always love when I get my BoxyCharm. It's one of my things that I look forward to and anticipate the most every single month. So all I've done is just disconnected this little sticker here that kind of keeps it together. I tore this off, but I haven't opened it. So there's one thing in here that I know is being put in boxes, and I hope I get one my favorite thing ever all right all right so the first thing in here is the card super cute it says totally boxy charm so if you're not aware I always forget to do this I always forget to tell you that boxy charm is a $21 a month subscription that is full mostly of makeup but a lot of skincare some body care some other things but it's it's very makeup heavy and Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I already have one, but it's one of my absolute favorite products. So this month, you could either get this, which is the new Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Look at, look at that. Like, wow, that's a big difference. So you could either get this, or you could get the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum, and I love that. I just started my third bottle of that, and I was like, oh, wouldn't it be great to have a backup? Because out of all the serums that I've tried, I love what that does for my skin. And I was hoping I would get another, but it's okay. We'll try this today instead. Um, I think before we start on any of that, this is the first thing in here that I need to put on before I can continue on with the full face. This is from Wander Beauty. It's the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And it says that it has black currant seed oil and niacinamide. I love niacinamide. That is one of my favorite ingredients in skincare. So this seems like, although it does have that black currant seed oil. There is also going to be not just a hydration from the oil, but also some brightening that you're gonna get from your niacinamide. I, I'm excited to see what this says. It's supposed to bring out your inner radiance with this illuminating oil. It has light diffusing optics that deliver instant luminosity. Instant, instant's a big word. Like that means like run out, uh, but we'll see. And they have a special blend of beauty oils. Alrighty, you know what's interesting is it doesn't have a list on here of the ingredients. I love these little, I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand here. Oh, ooh, it's pink. Two, three, I'm gonna do four for good measure. May as well, whatever's left here. Look at that. It's a pretty pink color. It looks a little shimmery. Let's just put some of this on. doesn't feel very oil-like. It feels more serum-like, like a lightweight serum. This kind of, it doesn't feel like it has a lot of oil in it. It kind of feels like it's just absorbing straight in. It feels so much more skincare-like and less oil. But we'll see. I feel like it'd be a good primer, too. I really don't smell anything. No, I'm not smelling anything. The card says that this is one of those multitasking beauty elixir that instantly hydrates and absorbs to reveal bouncy, youthful complexion, no matter what type of skin you have. It's a lightweight, powerful formula that nourishes and primes the skin. You know what's interesting is it did feel more primer-like to me because it didn't say anything about priming the skin on the back of this. It, there's a slightly tacky feel, very, very slightly. I don't know how I feel about this whole instant radiance because if you look at it, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more out of my hand and we can talk about it. it. It looks kind of pearlescent, doesn't it? And up close, I can see that there's a lot of really, really, really fine particles of something that's making it shimmer. So as I, do you see that? As I spread it out, you can still see the shimmer in through here. 
It wasn't just the packaging of this, it made instantly made me think of this. This is the Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence that we got, was it a month or two ago? I really do like this. I've used more than it. I just dropped it. Man overboard, be right back. All right, so I have used more than half of this, but I really do love this. This is very liquidy too, but I feel like it's just a touch thicker than this. I definitely see myself using this more as a primer and less I'm dropping everything, just call me Butterfingers. I see myself using this more as a primer and less as a facial oil. I think facial oils, I think like those pure oils. If you're thinking squalane, if you're thinking marula oil, camellia oil, there are so many different types of oils that you can use on your face. This feels more like a hydrating primer to me. That's probably how I'll use it. Oh, and again, don't mind the hair, it's a little cuckoo today. All right. so. From what I see left, I need to get some foundation and concealer on, and we'll be right back. Time for the next product in the box, and it's from Becca. It's their Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I remember when this came out, oh, was it a year or two ago? I was so curious about this. It is a really pretty, I mean, the packaging, I like how you can see the powder kind of moving back and forth in here. I love this. From what I've heard, and I've never tried it, it's... Oh, it says, keep me closed to keep me cool. All right, I will. Um, it really reminds me of a product I used to use in the 90s from Prescriptives. Do you, I don't know, do you remember Prescriptives? Uh, were you alive in the 90s? <laughs> um, but it was one of those really cool makeup brands that would actually custom mix foundation and powder to match your skin. And they had this really cool powder. I think it was called like the magic water powder, magic something powder. And it actually felt cool to the, oh, this is just like it, cool to the touch. All right, so this has one of those little bouncy nets in here. I'm just gonna use the other side of my beauty sponge. I'm gonna put some of this on. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna tap out my uh, under eye to make sure I'm not setting any creases. Oh, excuse me. I don't mean to be doing that. I always use my middle finger. I don't know why, but it doesn't look good when I do it. All right. Oh, it's so trippy. It feels cold. It feels like I'm actually putting water on my face. Oh, it really, it really kind of softens everything, the look of everything. This is so memory lane for me. Now I know this product from Becca has been out for a year or so more, but it is so reminiscent of the powder that I used to use from Prescriptives. It's, it's like memory lane for me. It was a product I used to use when I was in college. I don't know, like 94, 95. <laughs> That's how old I am people. I was in college in the nineties. You know what's funny is that I normally don't just use my sponge to apply powder because I feel like it's it picks up way too much. But the feeling of this powder is so cooling and refreshing. I can't help myself, but I am gonna make sure that I don't set a crease into the concealer on my eyelids. I'm just gonna do myself a little favor and tap it out before we pop any of this on here. And then I just feel so weird, I just keep dipping in. I'm probably gonna end up looking like a vampire, put so much powder on my face. Oh, this is like a total walk down memory lane. Now, here's what I will tell you about the way that it looks. I, I applied way too much, but I just couldn't help myself. I kept dipping in. Um, it has a very velvety look to it. I do have a couple of uh, crinkles that I feel like I, I had product, like a little bit of product in here, and then I set it with the powder, and now I think I set that crinkle into place. Another one like right here. We're gonna see what it looks like after we put some setting spray over it, but I do like it. I feel like right in through here where I have a lot of pores, you can't see anything. It looks very, very perfected. I'm impressed. Let's keep going. I think the verdict on this powder, just from what it looks like after application, I probably wouldn't use it to set my under eye. It does make my under eye look a little dry, just a hair. I don't know if you can see, like right in through here, right through here. It does, it's a little dry. 
but the rest of my face, I think it looks pretty good. I like it. All right. Um, I'm excited about that Becca powder. I didn't think I was going to be, but I am really excited. So the next thing, I've been telling you the prices. What was I thinking? I have not been telling you the prices. Let's do this. All right. So this Wander Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil goes for $42. For 0.84 ounces, $42. I see this basically as a primer. I don't know that I would use it as a face oil and I needed a little bit more than like the three to four drops to make, anyway, $42, I think that's kind of pricey. That's just me. All right, the Becca Hydra Mist Refresh Powder is $39. How many ounces do you get? You get 10 grams or 0.35 ounces. That's pretty normal. All right, the next thing in here are these little puppies. These remind you of anything? These are from the brand Ace Beauté, and these are the Glimmer Shadow Duos. They're $25 for the two of these. I have some really pretty colors. Um, this one here is called Iced Latte. Oh, she's pretty. And this other one here is Cotton Candy. I don't know that I put any cotton candy in my Iced Latte, on my iced latte but Ice Latte Cotton Candy, let's swatch these. These remind me of ColourPop's Super Shock Shadows. Ooh, they even feel, they even feel like it. What, look at that. Ice Latte Cotton Candy. What's interesting is that this Ice Latte has a little bit, there is a little bit of like silver in here. I don't know that you can see it really well, but there's little teeny tiny particles of silver. And the Cotton Candy has a lot of gold reflex in it. So let's see what type of eye look we can get with this. This should be interesting. I think I'm probably just going to use my fingers. I might get a little messy. Oh, oh, look at that. Cotton candy. Is this a pigment? It just says a glimmer shadow. Cotton candy. Warning, keep out of reach of children. It doesn't say that I can't use it in the immediate eye area, but my finger's pink. <laughs> We'll see what happens. I'm gonna start with uh, some of this. This is the ice latte, and I'm just gonna plop this on most of my lid. Oh, it's so pretty. I've been seeing a lot of other people get kind of like a pink and a silver, like a hot pink and a silver, and I was like, oh, if I get those, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I will use this color a lot, that's for sure. Pretty. It picks up pretty well on a brush. Here's hoping we don't truly ruin it and I have to walk around like this all day. You ever done that? Like, what was I thinking? Then you don't have time to fix it or wash it off. You just gotta go. It blends pretty nicely though. So these are fun. I really like the colors. I really love the ice latte. Cotton candy is fun. It's a very fun pink with a gold shift to it. Here's the deal. The packaging is just like ColourPop. I mean, just like only, I can't remember the last time they put anything in pink packaging, but it looks and feels so much like it. ColourPop Super Shock Shadows are $6 a piece. The price went up sometime in the last year, so instead of being five, they're six. So you can get two ColourPop Shadows for $12 or two Ace Beauté Shadows for 25. They're fun, they're pretty, but I would have a hard time spending 25 to get two of these. Mascara time. This is their Confidence Booster Brush. What does that mean? That I, my lashes weren't very confident before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never seen anything this bright pink. You, you may not be able to tell, but this is like fluorescent pink. This is like highlighter pink. This is, wow. It's a lot. It has kind of one of those hourglass shaped wands. Uh, it really reminds me, you know, of the Better Than Sex brush. It reminds me of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise brush. But let's see. I think it's okay. But I don't know that it's my favorite. Let's put another layer on. 
I think I like the fact that these I'm not getting clumped together lashes. Well, not too clumpy because I, the more mascara I put on, the more clump I get going on here. Uh, and, and it's just me and any mascara. But I'll tell you, I like that I do have some pretty nice definition. I do have some nice separation until I put on too much mascara. But I was expecting, let's see, what's it supposed to do? I'm looking at the box. The box doesn't say anything more than let your lashes be full of themselves. And it doesn't say whether it's supposed to be lengthening, volumizing. It doesn't say, it just says it has a confidence booster brush. What's the card say? An ultra black vegan mascara that lifts your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter for up to 16 hours. All right, so longevity. But it's, I mean, it's a little bit volumizing, but it's not really lengthening. Oh, let's do the other, do you, do you see the difference here? Let's do the other. So I've been putting this mascara on for a good four or five minutes. Here's what I've noticed. It's a dry formula. I like that. The only problem I think about when I'm like, oh, it's nice and dry, that it's not, it's not too wet and not too sticky, except for how long before I can't use the tube of mascara because it's too dry. All right, so there's that. I do love the brush. I love the brush. I feel like it has the right amount of space between it and the right amount of bristles to really comb through and, and I don't feel like I have like really chunky, clumpy lashes. The one thing I wish it did is I wish it lengthened a little bit better. So I'm, I feel like I get some nice definition, some decent volume, but not the length. And that's what I was hoping for because my bottom lashes, it's like, are they there? <laughs> All right, it's okay. I'm gonna keep trying it. I'll let you know. I, I always do a quarterly boxy charm update um, and that you'll find those in my box. I just started that this year. I've done two of them so far, but you'll find those in my boxy charm playlist, but I'll have to let you know what I think about this mascara. So the last thing in here is this. Oh, by the way, price for the Big Ego mascara is $23. That's kind of run of the mill. Don't you think for most, you know, mid-range mascaras, we're not talking 30 something for like a Dior or a YSL or a something else, really expensive something else. Um, so the last thing in here, I'm taking the plastic off of it, is a lip liner. And this is from Steve Laurent. And this is supposed to be their lip liner. It's, it goes for $15. You're supposed to be able to reshape, resize, and redefine your pout. It says this lip pencil is total magic. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. That's very, very pointy. I'm just gonna dull the tip here a little bit. I know that seems like sacrilege, but kind of dry. I wish it wasn't so dry. Also kind of hard to talk when I'm trying to line my lips. This is kind of a dark lip liner for me. And I just kept going. And I'm looking up close in my mirror and I I didn't realize how dark it was getting. Well, I've committed. If you were wondering, the shade on this is chic. This is what it looks like. I feel like it's too dark for my personal, I don't like lip liners that are this dark. I don't usually like colors this dark unless it's fall or winter. And I feel like since we're in the middle of August, this is not what I want on my lips. Let's see if we can lighten it up with just a little something something. Let's total up this box here and see. This box value is $144. That's a lot. I am surprised. This was not my favorite box. I feel like there's some good stuff in here. So I do love the Becca powder. This is nice. I do like this, but I don't really think of it as an oil. I think of it more as a primer. And I feel like, although these are really fun, they're really high price point for what they are because ColourPop does them at less than half the price. Yeah, you get two for the price of one of these guys. You get two ColourPop for the price of one. Didn't like this. I'm probably not gonna use it again, to be totally honest. And this, I'm very curious. I love this, like, bright highlighter color packaging, this neon-y pink, it is so much fun. But I will tell you this, it didn't give me the length that I was looking for. And I didn't really feel like if I kept trying to build it up that I was gonna be successful in getting a length without getting everything clumped together. I'll have to let you know how it works. If you 
got this instead of the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. Let me know how you like this. But since I already am a huge fan and will continue to repurchase that Peach and Lily product, if you got it, let me know what you think. I hope you love it. I think it's fantastic. I feel like my skin looks really gorgeous from having used that for the last six plus months. All right, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you are a fan of BoxyCharm. Do you get BoxyCharm? Do you like what you get? Or you're kind of like, mm, no more subscription boxes for me. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.